everyone, Amy Love here, here with another project share. This time I spent some time making these little snippet clips. And I used these little um, clips, I think I got them at Walmart or Hobby Lobby, I don't know, but they were pretty cheap. I think they were even on clearance. So I made it out of these and I just covered the metal clip with this sweet little trim from Angel Dream Crafts. I just love it and it's like perfect for covering these clips up, right? Super cute. So then I just created um, a little snip, a, like a fabric strip uh, with snippets and then glued it to the top of the clip. So this was the first one I made. So there it is on the clip. So you can just clip it onto something. It would be so cute. And um, this one I got a little carried away because I really, in my mind, was thinking something simpler and smaller. But you know, when you just get to doing something, it doesn't always work out that way. So I actually um, started with just a strip doubled over of some white fabric I had in my stash. And they're actually all created on that white uh, strip of fabric, only I made the, these much shorter. <laughs> And I added this adorable trim from Angel Dream Crafts because you know how I love an eyelet and it makes such a great edging trim. So I added that to the edge of this and made it way bigger than I wanted to. And then I cut up one of her beaded and pearl, uh, beaded and sequined appliques. Um, I cut it up and I used the top piece to go right here. And then I added some of her uh, leaf. I love this leaf. Um, trim. That's all it is, is these beautiful leaves and a whole yard goes a long, long way. I think she's out, but I, I'm hoping she's trying to get more because it's my favorite. I love it. So I put that on the sides. I added one of her gorgeous flowers. I love these flowers and they come in three or four different colors. They're just so, so, so cute. And um, then at the bottom, I actually used two different, this one, right? I love this one. And then there's also like a shorter one that's kind of the same shape. So I put that on top of that and then added some flat back pearls. Love. And then another snippet from a trim and then one of her um, rhinestone and pearl flat back bling. So, I mean, it is cute. I like it. It's really pretty. It's just, you know, it's just way bigger than I had in mind. I mean, I'm sure you could clip it to something and it'll be just fine. And I'm sure that I will use it. I mean, it's adorable. But my goodness, it's bigger than I, than I wanted. So then this was actually the next one um, that I created. I was like, I, I want it to be simpler <laughs> and smaller. So I uh, just cut the strip of fabric shorter. It's still the same width. And then I added this beautiful, I wish I would have had some out so I could show you because I don't know if you'll be able to see, but this trim in the back is a dragonfly lace. And I just gathered it up and I put it on top of the fabric strip. Then I cut one of the dragonflies out of the trim. And that is what this is right here. So I added some gold, I tucked some gold leaves that's from a trim a rose, gold rose trim that she used to have in the shop, but she doesn't have that one anymore, but I'm still using the bits from it. I love that trim. So then I put the dragonfly that I cut out of this lace um, on top of the gold leaves, and then I added one of these fantastic butterflies from Kim's shop. I'm in love with these. Look at, look how pretty that thing is. It's so shimmery and shiny. I love it so much. So this I was much happier with. I was like, this is more of what I had in mind when I started on that adventure. <laughs> and I love the way it just clips, you know, it's just cute. It's just cute. So I love it. So then I decided I would try to get a little more colorful with one. So I, same, same base and the fabric. And then I used which you're not going to be able to see, I don't think. But she has this really pretty trim that has these really beautiful colors, and it's just really ornate and pretty. So I used a strip of that uh, for the background. You can see some of it peeking out the top. Then I used some more of those leaves that I love so much. 
and then one of her spider connectors. I love these. These come in a doily pack. You get the eight doilies and the connectors. And I love the way the connectors just look behind stuff. So this project I actually, I glued, which I'm hardly gluing anything anymore, but I was up in my craft room and I actually glued these. So, you know, I still use the glue gun occasionally. And then this is my, uh, one of my favorite trims from Angel Dream Crafts that I like to cut into bits and glue down. Super cute. And then that is one of her fairy cabochons. Look at that fairy. Can I get the glare off her face? She's so cute. I love the cabochons. They make me happy. So, I mean, that's adorable. It's sweet and it's little. Yes. And then I created this one, which got a little wider than I wanted to, but it's because I used this lace from Angel Dream Crafts, and um, I think it's one of the Clooney laces. So that's how wide it is. And then I just pleated it and then uh, put it down as my base. So... It's a little wider, but I, I like the pleated look of that Clooney lace behind there. So then I added, uh, this is one of the flower appliques that I cut out of one of her trims. I don't remember the name of it, but it it's full of these flowers in that trim. So that's what's back there. Then um, this little bow comes off of one of her trims also. So I cut out the little bow that has looks like a grape cluster underneath of it and then I added one of her um, buttons with the rhinestone in it. This came in the mixed button pack. Super, super cute. I don't know if she sells these separately, I think, but I got mine in the mixed button pack. Uh, then I placed a little doily back here and put one of those amazing flowers. Um, this one's in white and that one's in cream and I believe you can also get it in like a, it's like a like a tan, almost tea dyed color, and then um, you can get it, I believe, and I don't know if there's a pink one or not. I feel like there should be, <laughs> but right now I don't remember if there is. I think there is. Um, so you can get it in all different colors, and they're amazing, and I love them. So that is the fourth one that I made. So these were so fun to make. They're so cute. Um, they're easy to do. I mean, just so, so simple. Um, so I'd love to know what you think. Please leave me a comment and a thumbs up just to help my video get seen by more people. And I will have a link, of course, to the shop below to Angel Dream Crafts Kim on Etsy. And I will also have a link to um, all of the designers who are currently designing um, on our team right now. They are amazing. We have an amazing uh, set of designers. So I just hope that you'll go check each of them out because we all bring something different to the table and it's always very inspiring. So I hope everyone is well, and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.